material. The RH-400 is a key player in the excavation of these oily sands, but these operations are leaving a big environmental footprint. To get one barrel of oil, you need to mine two tons of tar sand, and the carbon dioxide emitted by the operation will total more than all of Canada's cars by 2011. In spite of this impact on the land, the digger does its job well. The keys to its success are the huge bucket and strong arms. They're powered by the digging world's largest hydraulic system. The RH-400 is a hydraulic excavator, meaning it uses the power of hydraulic fluid, uh, fluid power, if you will, as opposed to a cable shovel, which uses cable or, or wire rope. The science of hydraulics is a very complicated thing, but I'm going to try and demonstrate it quite simply today. Here, we're going to show very simply how it produces a linear form of movement by simply creating pressure at one end and transmitting that via the fluid, the liquid, uh, to, to a cylinder there, which at the end of the cylinder creates the movement. So if I press here, I'm putting pressure on there, and that's being transmitted right down the tube, and there's the movement at the end, which could work a machine or, or, or whatever. Generally, the more hydraulic pressure a machine has, the more power it has. The RH-400 can load one of the world's biggest trucks with only four scoops. You could compare the RH-400 machine to a living entity. When you look at the life fluid as being the hydraulic oil, the heart of the hydraulic system would be the uh, hydraulic pumps. There's eight main pumps on the RH-400, producing about 920 liters a minute. So it gives you a total flow or circulation of oil of about 7,500 liters a minute to move the bucket.